Now I have done a couple of tutorials already that talk about how to manually update the OnePlus 3 but those all required and assumed that you were rooted. Today I want to talk about how to manually sideload an over-the-air update onto the OnePlus 3 even if you are not rooted. In fact you are required to not be rooted and not have any modifications done to the system partition. This is mainly just so you don't have to wait until OnePlus pushes the over-the-air update to your device. So I wanted to show you what version I am on. I am on Oxygen OS version 3.2.0. And as you can see, I have an over the air update waiting. Even if you don't have an over the air update waiting, that's okay. Again, this is just to bypass the wait time for OnePlus sending you that over the air update. Now, to start, we're going to need to enable developer mode. Once developer mode has been enabled we need to go in there and make sure we have USB debugging mode on. Once that's done we're going to need to install the Google USB drivers. We're going to need to install the minimal ADB and fastboot tools and we're going to need to download the incremental over-the-air update that you want. Now if you look down in the description below this video you'll find a link to the full tutorial that I have written and in that tutorial it has all of the download links that are required for this tutorial. Once you have downloaded the incremental over the air update, you're going to want to rename it to something shorter. I recommend OTA update.zip. And you're going to want to move or copy it into the minimal ADB and fastboot tools directory. For me, this is C program files x86 minimal ADB and fastboot. Once that's done we can double click on our minimal ADB and fastboot shortcut that was created when we installed the program. This is going to launch a command prompt and have us already in the minimal ADB and fastboot directory. And we're going to need to type ADB space devices and press enter on the keyboard. This will start the ADB service. And that's what we need to do before we proceed. Once we have started the ADB service, we can then connect the OnePlus 3 to the PC with a USB cable. Now if you haven't done this in the past, you will get a dialog box that pops up and that asks you if you want to allow USB debugging access from this PC. When you see that, you'll want to tap on the checkbox that says always allow and then tap on the OK button. If you have already done this, you won't see that prompt, and then you will see that USB debugging notification card. Once the USB cable has been connected, we can go ahead and reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode.
once we get into recovery mode, we need to tap on English or whatever your preferred language is. Then we want to tap on install from ADB. Then it's going to ask if we want to upgrade Android from USB. We just want to tap on OK to confirm. This takes us into sideload mode. And it tells us we can now load an update package with the command adb space sideload space the file name. While the OnePlus 3 is still connected with the USB cable, we want to turn our attention back to the command prompt. And just like the OnePlus 3 said, we want to type out adb space sideload space our file name, which is otaupdate.zip. We want to press enter to execute. Now we have nothing that's changed on the OnePlus 3 yet. And then we're going to get the progress bar. Right now it is uploading this OTA zip to the OnePlus 3. Once it gets done uploading it, then it will install it. 